close your eyes, take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change. Find what rhythm of breathing feels good for you right now. If you feel tense, try to breathe in a way that's relaxing. If you feel tired, breathe in a way that gives you more energy. You have the choice, and it's good to make, take advantage of that choice, because there are a lot of areas in life where we don't have choices. But in the areas where we do have choices, we should try to take advantage of them to make the best use of our freedom of choice, and to make the choices as wise as we can. Today's the beginning of the rains retreat. And this is the time when the monks dedicate themselves to staying here for three months. If they have to go away, they can go away only on certain types of business and only for seven days at a time. Otherwise, they stay here and they try to accelerate their efforts. And many of them will make special vows to themselves that they're going to try to be especially good in some area of the practice where they find that they've been lacking, put more effort into it. This is a way of taking advantage of the fact that we do have the choice to train the mind. And so it's also good for other people, lay people as well, to take advantage of this example. You might make a vow to yourself for three months that you're going to be more strict with yourself about certain precepts, you're going to try to meditate more, try to give vent to less anger. If anger arises, you find ways of holding it, well, not, at least not acting on it. You don't want to hold it in and bottle it up. This is one of the reasons we have breath, breath meditation, so you can breathe through the anger, breathe through the manifestations of anger in the body, and that helps to take the pressure of the anger away. But look at your life and see what areas that you're not taking advantage of the fact that you do have choices. The choice to do something skillful, the choice to do something wise. And try to strengthen your ability in that particular area. So that when you look back in your life, it won't be a life of wasted opportunities. You can think back, well, I took advantage of this, I took advantage of that. In Thai they call this having a monument in your life. Something you remember, something you can be proud of, that you did accomplish in this lifetime. And of course the results last not only now, but they spill over into the next lifetimes as well. So try to take stock of where you're still lacking, where you have the opportunity to make some changes in your life particularly changes in your mind, changes in your thoughts, your words and deeds. Take advantage of this opportunity. It doesn't come all the time. It may come once a year, but how many years do we have? Anyone who lives to a hundred is said to have a very long life. So for us, it's, we don't have that opportunity. It's very rare that anyone would have a hundred chances to observe a rains retreat. So we have this chance right now, so take the most of it. Look at what areas of your life still are lacking, and fill in the lack. And if you find at the end of three months the vow that you've taken is a good vow, well, there's no need to stop at the end of the three months. But the three months is a good time to test your ability to hold up to a particular vow. Then you get the encouragement of all the other people who are doing this all around the world right now. The ones you can see and the ones you can't see. The ones you know about, the ones you don't know about. Think about all the people in the world who are taking vows today that they want to hold to for the next three months, and think of what kind of vow you would be proud to add to that list. <laughs>